What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Carmela and I am the owner and sole operator of an online store called the Lily Creative Co. The Lily Creative Co. sells apparel, drinkware, and accessories like bookmarks and keychains. So for this particular vlog, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into what is going on. It's actually the same day as the end of my last vlog, but I just got a wholesale order for some magnetic bookmarks and I wanted to document it for you guys. Normally I give like the itinerary of what we're going to do in the video for the day, but this literally just happened. So I figured I would record it because why not? Now I know in the end intro I said that this was a wholesale order but that was actually before I checked my email and saw that the customer had actually emailed me and this order was for 12 bookmarks and she actually wanted them for her book club which I thought was so cute like just the idea of a bunch of women or just a bunch of people sitting around with matching bookmarks I just thought that was super cute so I did go ahead and give her the wholesale pricing the wholesale discount and she was super happy about that I'm currently offering wholesale only on my website right now. I applied for FAIR ages ago and still haven't heard back from them. I even sent a follow-up email just to kind of check on my status as far as like the wait list goes and they basically just said keep waiting. So hopefully that will come through soon because I do really want to get into doing wholesale hopefully this year. So for right now, I'm just offering it on my website when anyone buys 10 items or more of any one item, then they get an automatic 50% off discount. And a couple people actually have taken me up on that offer. So that's been pretty cool. Hopefully in 2024, I can get more people and maybe figure out a way to advertise that I do offer wholesale. If any of you guys sell through FAIR and have any tips or advice how to maybe get accepted by them, I would definitely appreciate it if you would leave them in the comments for me. Because like I said, I applied probably at least six months ago and reached out to check on the status of my application probably about three months ago and still haven't heard anything. So that is definitely kind of a bummer, but comes with the territory. I'm assuming I'm sure they get tons of applications. So who knows what the wait list is like. So another Another one of my goals for 2024 is to also get into doing markets and vendor events. I want to do at least one before the year is over, which honestly terrifies me and makes me super nervous, but I think it would be amazing for both my own personal growth and business growth, just getting out there and meeting new people and exposing them to my brand. My only issue is I'm kind of unsure how to find such events. There are a few local to my area that I'm already familiar with that I plan to look into but if you are someone that does vendor events or markets and things of that nature and you have any tips whatsoever when it comes to finding events to go to please 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 drop them down in the comments for me that is definitely something I'm very interested in this year all help is definitely appreciated so today is Saturday and I kind of have a random, slightly hectic work day planned ahead of me. I need to put final touches on a vlog that's going up tonight. What else do I need to do? I have a TikTok shop order that I need to package today and I also want to make and package some more magnetic bookmarks just because they're going so fast I literally can barely keep up, which is such a blessing and I'm so thankful. Um, it's just so funny to me because I feel like literally since I launched them on TikTok shop. I'm just always making them. I, it's so hard to keep up. So yeah, the first thing we're probably going to do is press a sample shirt with one of the new heat transfers. I need to fill them some TikToks today. It's probably some more stuff. I need to order some new thank you cards, but before I can do that, I need to design the cards or finish designing them. I have so much stuff I need to do. Let's just get started. <laughs>
I admittedly can 1000% see this being controversial for some people, but when I saw it, I'm sorry. I just had to. I'm not sorry at all. I just literally had to. And then we have some rich auntie in black and white. That probably won't show up, but you can see in the black. And I do have another rich auntie design coming out. I'm super excited about that. It's going to be kind of along the same like collegiate vibe. So I am crazy about this design, but I think I'm actually gonna get it bigger. I'm going to reorder and get it a little bit wider, I think. So it comes a little bit farther out, not to be weird here, let me put my hands up here. A little bit farther out and then a little bit further down, like maybe my belly button is right here. So maybe that far, like bigger. Or what do you guys think? Never in a million years did I think I would spend my time filing pieces of paper, but this is a piece of cardstock. I hope you guys can see it. Let's see if I can turn it around. So this is a piece of cardstock. This is one of my magnetic bookmark backing cards that I've already filed the edges on, and this is one that I have not filed the edges on. You can see it's kind of got the fuzzies and the fluffies and whatnot. I hope it's showing up on the camera because I honestly cannot tell from this angle. But like in contrast, you can really see the difference or at least I can tell the difference. But just who would have thought in my 30s that I would be sitting here filing pieces of paper? <laughs> oh God. So at the moment, I am storing the bookmarks in this cubby thing that I have where I'm keeping all my other stuff. I have shirts here, vinyl there, HTV vinyl, heat transfers up there. Like this is pretty much my catch-all area. There's sublimation ink over there. So I've been keeping my bookmarks in this little cubby for now, but I might get them their own container because this is just ugly to me. So if you have any suggestions for containers that I could use to hold them in, that would be fantastic. So I think that I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. After this point, I'm going to be finishing up the rest of my bookmarks and then probably staring at my computer for the next like four hours. And that doesn't really seem very vlog worthy. Although if you guys are interested in the computer aspect and the admin stuff, let me know and I can include that as well. I want to give a huge thank you to you for watching this entire video. If you're watching this outro, that means you sat through the whole thing or maybe you just walked away from the TV and forgot you were watching. Either way, thank you so much for letting this entire video play. If you made it all the way to the end, leave some mouth emojis down in the comments since we did the mouth on the shirt today. As always, if you like this video, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you are interested in more of my content. And again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!